Title II, Department of Energy, Energy Programs, Science, additional amount, $98 million to remain available until expended for acquisition, distribution, and equipment for development and production of medical, stable, and radioactive isotopes. Atomic Energy Defense Activities, National Nuclear Security Administration, Defense Nuclear Nonproliferation, additional amount, $144 million to remain available until September 2025 to respond to the situation in Ukraine. Federal salaries and expenses, additional amount, $5,542,000 to remain available until September 2025 to respond to the situation in Ukraine. General purpose for provisions, this title. Section 201A of the unobligated balances from amounts previously appropriated under the heading Department of Energy, Energy Programs, Energy, Nuclear Energy in Division J of the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act that were made available for fiscal year 2022, 2023, and 2024 up to $2,720,000,000 dollars shall be available, in addition to amounts otherwise available for necessary expenses to carry out the Nuclear Fuel Security Act of 2023. Of the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2024, provided that if insufficient unobligated balances are available for such fiscal year 2022, 2023, and 2024 amounts to fund a total amount for such purpose of up to two billion, $720 million, then up to $800 million from amounts previously appropriated under the heading Department of Energy, Energy Programs, Nuclear Energy in Division J of the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act that are made available for fiscal year 2025 may be made available in addition to amounts otherwise available for such purpose to meet such total amount. Provided further, that Amounts repurposed pursuant to this section may be transferred to Department of Energy Energy Programs American Energy Independence Fund in either fiscal year 2024 or fiscal year 2025, provided further that amounts repurposed for transfers or transferred by the, this section shall be subject to the same authorities and conditions as if the section were included in the Department of Energy title of the Energy and Water Development and Re Related Agencies Appropriations Act of fiscal year 2024. Provided further, that the Secretary of Energy may be use the amounts repurposed, transferred, or otherwise made available pursuant to this section to enter into and perform such contracts, leases, cooperative agreements, or other similar transactions with public agencies and private organizations and per persons as authorized by Section 646A of the Department of Energy Organization Act. For such periods, of time and subject to such terms and conditions as the Secretary deems appropriate without regard to Section 161U of the Atomic Energy Act of 1954, provided further that notwithstanding 31 U.S. Code 3302, recipients from the sale or transfer of LEU and HLEU or from any other transaction in connection with the amounts repurposed, transferred, or otherwise made available pursuant to this section shall hereby shall hereafter be credited to the American Energy Independence Fund as discretionary offsetting collections and shall be available for the same purpose as funds repurposed or transferred pursuant to this section to the extent and in the amount provided in advance in Appropriations Act. Provided further that receipts may hereafter be collected from transactions entered into pursuant to Section 2001A2FIII of the Energy Act of 2020, and notwithstanding 31 U.S. Code 3302, receipts from any transaction entered into pursuant to Section 2001A2FII and III of such act shall hereafter be credited to the American Energy Independent Fund as discretionary offsetting collections and shall be available for the same purposes as funds repurposed or transferred pursuant to this section to the extent and in the amounts provided in advance in Appropriation Acts. 
provided further that the Secretary of Energy may use funds repurposed, transferred, or otherwise made available pursuant to this section for a commitment only if the full extent of the anticipated cost stemming from that commitment is recorded as an obligation at the time that the commitment is made and only to the extent that upfront obligation is recorded in full at that time. Provided further, that amounts repurposed or transferred pursuant to this section that are previously designated by the Congress as an emergency requirement pursuant to the concurrent resolution on the budget are designated as emergency requirement pursuant to section 4001A1 of the S. Conrad's 14 and concurrent resolution on the budget for fiscal year 2022 and to legislation establishing fiscal year 2024 budget enforcement in the House of Representatives. B. Amounts may not be repurposed or transferred pursuant to this section until a law is enacted or administrative action is taken to prohibit or limit importation of LEU and HALEU from the Russian Federation or by a Russian entity into the United States. C. The Nuclear Fuel Security Act of 2023, Section 3131 of the National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2024 is amended 1. In subsection F1BI and H4BI to read as follows. I. May not make commitments under this subsection, including cooperative agreements used in accordance with Section 6305 of Title 31 U.S. Code, purchase agreements, guarantees, leases, service contracts, or any other type of commitment for the purchase or other acquisition of HALEU or LEU unless funds are specifically provided for those purposes in advance in Appropriations Act enacted after the date of enactment of this Act. And two, in subsection J, to read as follows. J, reasonable compensation. In carrying out activities under this section, the Secretary shall ensure that any LEU and HLEU made available by, available by the Secretary under one or more of the programs is subject to reasonable compensation, taking into account the fair value of the LEU or HALEU and the purpose of this section.